All right, Shalom, man. Me and the Ak, we want to start out these lessons by giving all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakadash. Uh, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, who many call Yahweh, uh, Lord, Jehovah, okay? But we know his true name, which is in the Paleo, is Yahweh. But Hashem is how you say in the name of, in Yahweh Shah, that's the true name of who today many call Christ, Jesus, Yeshua, Yeshaya. And a plethora of other names, but we truly know his name, which is uttered in the Paleo Hebrew tongue. Uh, their true names is Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. And we know we say 12 uh, peace, Shalom to the 12 tribes, which are you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and so called Hispanics, and double honors and much respect unto you elders and the apostles of the Great Millstone. Okay, hmm. those will be the true teachers of Israel, and to you Akim, who teach that same like minded. Uh, and likewise truth we say shalom so just through the spirit me and the brother want to do a quick sit down going into how this knowledge is making us perfect in a very short amount of time you see see so right now bro you know you come into this truth you might have been in this truth for maybe um you know one two years you see and that's very new but you have brothers who've been in this thing a little longer but even just using a short amount of time, like one, two, three years, a brother can be fully equipped with the wisdom and knowledge that he needs for salvation, you see? And that's what Yahweh Shem is doing right now. He's equipping his elect with the necessary tools and knowledge and wisdom and the mindset that they're gonna need to be delivered, you see? Let me get this priest up here in the Book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter four, verse 13. It says, he being made perfect in a short time fulfilled a long time all right so i'm gonna use this scripture just to say you know we are being made perfected in the spirit in a very short amount of time right very short amount of time like yahweh shine let me get this precept which is really quick man in isaiah this is um book of isaiah chapter 11 all right, this is 11, uh, Isaiah chapter 11. I want to go ahead and get uh, three. All right, this is a prophecy by Yahweh Shai. And he shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. And he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither approve after the hearing of his ears. See? So Yahweh Shai, man, he was made quick in understanding, man. Even from a youth. All right, that, you tell you Yahweh Shai was like 12 years old. He was in the temple. Uh, confounding doctors of the law. See, Yahweh Shah was literally confounding all of these men who were of great understanding. And by the time Yahweh Shah got to like 30 years old, he was all whites. You see, Yahweh Shah literally had all white hair. He was white and woolly, as it says. Hmm. See, so, and, he, and he he was only about 30 years old. So really, his spirit was growing very quick, and his flesh wasn't able to keep up with it. You see, literally. Yahweh Shai, his flesh, it wasn't really able to keep up with the growth that was going on in the spirit, you see? That's why he was all white like that. And, and even, you can look at uh, the elders and the apostles as well, you see? They probably, they got all whites, bro. Because this wisdom and knowledge is making them perfect in a very short amount of time, their spirit is growing so fast that the flesh is not really able to keep up with, um, with the growth that's happening in the spirit. You see, I want to get this right quick in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 1 and 12, 18. It says, for in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increaseth in knowledge increaseth in sorrow. You see, so in much wisdom, there's going to be a lot more grief. You see, there's going to be a lot, a lot of a, a, a mourning, a lot of sorrow. You see, you're, you're getting all this truth. Your eyes are being opened. It's like you took that red pill, you see, and, and you can't go back. Now the, now you see the world for what it is. Now you see the truth for what it is, all right? And it's no longer a happy, jolly-go-lucky thing, you see? So, you know, that that's that's all I want to say on that. Come on, I got a precept here in John chapter 16 and and 12, all right? And this is how we shall speak in, all right, to his disciples. He says, I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. Howbeit, when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you, you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, 
that shall he speak and he will show you things to come all right and, and this is pretty much you know yahweh shah speaking to disciples telling him telling them that the spirit a truth all right the holy spirit will come to them all right when yahweh shah you know pretty much gives his life all right for the sheep all right the spirit of truth will come all right and comfort them and give them all right truth all right because in these last days we understand according to uh let me go to it real quick john chapter 4 and 22 it says all right well, let me start at 23 but the hour cometh all right and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the father in spirit and in truth for the father seeketh such to worship him so so you you see we're in that last hour mm -hmm. all right we're in that hour all right and, and the true worshipers which we know are the elect are going to worship the father right the heavenly father yahweh all right, through Yahweh Shai, all right, in spirit and in truth. So in, in verse 24, God is in spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So that spirit of truth, Yahweh Shai has sent, all right, for a time, which, we, you know, we're, we're getting right now, all right, we're able to understand things quicker. Come on, come on. All right, we're, we're being perfected, all right, in a way that the Most High wants us to be, be perfected, all right, in a timely manner. So let's go right back to John chapter, all right, 15. Because I want to say this, we don't have a thousand years, bro. We don't got right. even a hundred years left in this thing. So whoever the Lord's going to save, he needs them to get right now. You see, he needs them to get that spirit in them like now, quick, right. because there's not too much time left. Okay, it says the time is short. If I can real quick get this before you, um, you move on. It says, this is the book of Daniel chapter 12, verse four, but that old Daniel, Shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. You see? So there's a prophecy that at the end, this is going to be like the age of knowledge, right? The time of knowledge when everything is going to be at the tips of your fingers. Mm -hmm. You see? The internet is here. You see? Um, YouTube, the teachings, the scriptures being broken down. This is all literally out there now. You know, it's not like... You know, like our forefathers who they were walking kind of blindly hmm. because they didn't all, not all of our forefathers had the Bible, you see. So they had certain scriptures, like certain prophecies, you see. But let's take Job, for instance. Well, Job, he was, he was uh, going through the things he went through before any of this was written. So imagine a man like that having no understanding on like why he's going through any of that. Hey, he... He had to kind of go through it at the time. But us, we don't have to, okay, blindly take these afflictions. We don't have to blindly um, try to figure out what's the truth. It's now being made plain to us the things that we're going to go through, all right? Those tribulations the Lord's going to send upon us, we're going to know how to deal with them. And he's given us the proper uh, tools to be able to, uh, you know, understand this Bible in its, in its uh, entirety, you see what I'm saying? A lot of precept. For what you were saying all right so here's here's romans 15 and 4 for whatsoever thing were written afore time were written for our learning mm -hmm. that through that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might might have hope all right and we have hope man all right you see because he, these scriptures at the most high all right had given us all right you know we have our forefathers all right uh who have faith all right, Abraham, these different, you know, forefathers who have faith, all right, and were righteous, we can look back at them and know, all right, and pretty much carve a path on what we need to do. Mm -hmm. You see, that's why the Most High gave us the scriptures, is so that we can perfect, all right, uh, uh, we can, we can, you know, do what we got to do, all right, as the Most High has given us these scriptures, we can, we can pretty much, you know, have a guide, all right, you know, for lack of better terms. So I'm going to go to Colossians, though. Colossians 1 and 26 it says even the mystery which hath been hid from ages and from generations but now is made manifest to his saints all right so you know you have mysteries that were hidden you know from like Daniel all right and from different prophets but now the Lord he has these mysteries pretty much revealed yeah. all right because he Yahweh shy even had to explain some of the parables to to the to the disciples all right the apostles because you know they didn't understand at that time you see but when yahweh had given you know his life and sent the comforter 
all right, that spit the truth. Now we have more understanding, all right, in this last hour. Mm -hmm. So going back to John, all right, John chapter uh, 16. Give me one sec. 16 and, and 12, I'll, matter of fact, I'll just start over. It says, I have many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. So, you know, back then, we, we weren't able to bear these things. But now Yahweh Shai, you see, he's, he's given us the spirit of truth to be able to come across these things and understand, all right? Understand the parables, understand the mysteries of the kingdom, all right? To break down to break down the scripts, yep. all right? Verse 13, how be it, when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, and, uh, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. All right, so the spirit of truth will speak to us, all right? And, and you know, it comes from the Father because we know, like according to, uh, let me see, Deuteronomy 18, all right, when Yahweh, when the Most High Yahweh, when he tried to speak to us, all right, for, for real, all right, we, we couldn't bear that, all right? Therefore, he sent a prophet like Moses, all right, and Yahweh Shai, and, and they would speak, all right, uh, they would speak and we would understand through them. Mm -hmm. All right, Yahweh Shai, the, the Most High would have Yahweh Shai and, and really many prophets and different men to, to show us these scripts. God, and, and all right, what, to give us the true understanding. So like, and what's that spirit? It's wisdom, bro. You see? Right. And, you know, at the end of the day, not everybody is going to be able to get wisdom. The Lord gives his spirit to certain specific souls as a gift. That's why, like we say, this prophecy says only one third of his people are going to um, be delivered. So the Lord's not finna just give everybody his spirit. He's gonna choose certain vessels so that they can be the ones who, um, you know, have that spirit. Let me get that right quick. In Wisdom of Solomon, chapter uh, 21 and one. Well, Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 21. Nevertheless, when I perceived that I could not, not otherwise obtain her, except God gave her me, that was a point of wisdom also to know whose gift she was. I pray unto the Lord and besought him with my whole heart. You see? So wisdom was a gift and it's only given to you <laughs> from above. You see? Mm -hmm. And I want to get this. Uh, wisdom of Solomon chapter 7 and 27. It says, And being but one, she can do all things. And remaining in herself, maketh all things new. And in all ages, entering into holy souls, she maketh them friends of God and prophets you see that's heavy right there this spirit if it enters into you you can be a regular old dude bro you see just like all the men of the lord they were always they were all regular old dude you know dudes before the lord called them in right david was a shepherd all right uh you know basically uh i believe gideon i'm not too sure but i believe gideon was like a, a herdsman I, I don't, you can correct me on that if I'm wrong But a lot of the men of the Lord They, they really weren't uh, You know Doing much in their life But the Lord called them into this thing And he gave them power You see You see he gave them power by way of his wisdom Alright I want to get wisdom of Solomon chapter 9 and 18 For so the ways of them which lived on the earth Were reformed um, And men were taught the things That were pleasing unto thee And were saved through wisdom so right now, we're being taught the things that are pleasing unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right? This whole Bible, this whole book, this is the age of knowledge. All right? What's up? Yeah. So this is the age of knowledge, man, where everything is just laid out. And we're being made perfect in a very short amount of time. All right? So that's why our spirits, they're growing, you know? Your spirit, your, your spirit is an ancient spirit at the end of the day. You see, brothers like us, we might be young. You know, you know, basically like really young brothers, but you know, at the end of the day, our spirit, it's got so much more experience than many people on this earth. Why? Because wisdom is being placed upon us and all those who are in this truth. You see, we, we got an older spirit, you know, people might probably, probably tell you, oh, you kind of got like an older spirit to you. So really, man, in the flesh, your flesh is going to have to go through, you know, it's it's act you know it's normal growth like you, you're born you go through your teenage years you know your adolescence years you know ultimately into your adult years that's when people actually start to mature you know is is really when uh they start to get older and whatnot but 
if you really are being dealt with by Yahweh Shema Shai, like Yahweh Shai when he's about 12 years old, Yahweh Shai probably had a spirit of a grown ass man, you know? He was 12 years old, but this man was, he probably had a spirit of an ancient man, you see? So it's not even about the flesh, you know? You're gonna be an old spirit. And this truth, you know, you might have been, um, or before you came to this truth, you might have been a, you know, a fool, you see? A fool, you know, you was into folly and madness, but when you come to this truth, that wisdom really gives you a lot more, uh, it, it gives you an edge, you see? You start to grow, you know, you start to become ancient in the spirit, you see? So really, our, our spirits, man, it's too much for our flesh. Our flesh is not gonna be able to keep up with our spirits right now, you know? That's why, if you get this Wisdom of Solomon, chapter four, verse eight, it says, for honorable age is not that which standeth in length of time, nor that which is measured by number of years. But wisdom is a great hair unto men, and an old, an unspotted life is old age. So, hmm. you know, honorable age is not about how old you are. It really goes into, you know, um, you know, wisdom, you know. So you can be fucking uh, 20 years old, you know. You can literally be 12 years old. But if the Lord puts the spirit upon you to be perfected in a very short amount of time, well, you're going to be more wise and you're gonna be looked at uh, uh, older in the side of Yahweh Shai than a man who's like 80 years old. You see, you could be the oldest spirit in your whole family. You see what I'm saying? Like if you are the only one in the truth, you know, you 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 your spirit could actually be the oldest spirit in your lineage. You see, mm -hmm. you know, there's such thing as regeneration, reincarnation. Mm -hmm. So really, you coming on earth over and over and over. So though you're a young man. Look, your great grandfather, you might have been his father, you see? Or your great 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 grandfather, you might have been his father. So you might be the first of your whole lineage, you see? I mean if you think about it like that. So really us, hey, we we might be the first of our uh of of all of our family, you know, going back. And really you are if you are of the first fruits. You see, if you have that hundred forty four thousand, yes man, you are you are basically you know, one of the oldest spirits of your lineage. You see, you're a very ancient uh, spirit. Yep. And, you know, because the flesh, the flesh is, um, the flesh is only as old as, as, you know, your birth certificate. You yeah. see, but that's the flesh. The spirit goes way back, all right? The spirit is ancient. Mm -hmm. But here goes uh, Luke chapter 2 and 46. All right, this is Yahweh Shai. All right, speaking of him when he when he was a child. And it came to pass that after three days they found him in the temple sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. And when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold thy father, and I have sought thee sorrowing. So, all right, Yahusha was pretty much, as a child, he was speaking, all right, to the doctors uh, of Jerusalem, all right? And they were astonished at his questions and answers. You see, so to be astonished at, at, at the question and answers, you know, concerning whatever conversation they were having, you know, you have to be, you know, you pretty much have to have the spirit on you. You see, Yahusha, he had a spirit on him to answer to ask certain questions and also answer you see because a normal child doesn't really ask very clever or very uh, um in-depth questions all right or have very great answers you know okay. so that's just how you know nature is you don't really as a child you don't really give those advanced answers or questions but yeah i wish i did you see yeah. um going on it says verse 49 now this is how wish i saying this to his mother and he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Wished ye not that I must be about my fa father's business? All right. And I believe wished means knew. All right. Or no. You know. So Yahweh I uh, told his mother, Know you not that I must be about my father's business? All right. Yahweh already knew in the spirit why he was why he was on earth. Right. Why he was down here. And so do we now that we were reborn in the spirit. We know our true uh, 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 meaning, all right, and, and our true duty and business upon earth is really, right, to be about our father's business, 
all right to do what we got to do down here according to what the most high yahweh all right through yahweh shai wants us to do yahweh bashim yahweh shai you see which is really to be perfected all right and to wake up the other brethren mm -hmm. all right to wake up the other elect so we can you know get out this wicked kingdom all right and all prophecy can be fulfilled like yahweh shai all right when he was on earth all right in his time all right he did what he needed to do all right and, and yahweh shai already knew prophecy all right according to his time he already knew the things that needed to be fulfilled to the very end okay. which was him That's having right. to be put all right uh uh, uh to, to really the death you see mm -hmm. and he went through all he went through all that knowing you know and we know that how was shy at, at a certain point he didn't even want to be put to death really right. you see but he still went through it so things that we don't really want to do we still have to go through with it you see we God. have to be about our father's business God, that's why it says uh he was <clears throat> he was a man acquainted with sorrows you see so we ourselves, we the same way. You see, but Yahweh Shah, he was ultimately, with all that wisdom, he got so much grief, you see? He understood everything that was supposed to happen to him. He understood everything about his past lives, you see? He he understood this stuff from his very, uh, from a youth. So, you know, obviously this man, when he gets to 30, he was all grayed out, all white, you see? Mm. So he had so much burden on him, you see? But even his same man in this truth, I mean, we have, we foresee what's what's coming, right? We know what's required of us. Mm -hmm. So we ourselves, we're we're not gonna be in this happy, happy, jolly, folly, uh, bullshit spirit, man. Really, the men of Yahweh Shem Yashah, they're just gonna be straightforward with it. You see, they're just gonna be they're gonna be men who, you know, who, who are just, uh, you know, kind of. It looks like they just acquainted kinda, with sorrow, basically. Kind of plain. Yeah, plain man, sorrowful kind of, whatnot. But at the same time. You know that's uh that's a good thing for the spirit mm -hmm. yeah, our forefather uh jacob was playing you see so i mean really you know being plain it's not such a bad thing God. it's looked yeah. down upon here in, yeah. in this society though mm -hmm. you know being a true man is you know it's really looked down upon all these bitches want to do man you know all these all these uh people in this feminized society they just want to have fun they just want to have you know they, they everything's about folly and jolly you see yeah whenever whenever you you know i'm at not to get besides the point but whenever i'm at work you know i just think about how weak you know all these men are all right in babylon the great like straight like straight up you know right. past excuse my lane you know but straight pussies man right. you know Passing, it's like bro. Yep. man yep so at the end of the day man the lord's giving his men like an edge at the end of the day right he's taking you out of that bastardized estate and now, you know, when he starts dealing with you, man, he he's paving you to be who he wants you to be, who who uh, he's paving you to be, um, what is good in his sight. You see what I'm saying? So we're all being molded right now. You see, through our trials and through our tribulations. You see, uh, this is gonna be Revelations chapter three. I mean, eleven. I want to get three. It says, and I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand. In two hundred and three score days, clothed in sackcloth. You see, so the Lord's giving His men power, like we said, this is spiritual power right now. You see, being bestowed upon Yah Bashem Yahshai's men, and they're actually out here prophesying. The Lord's giving them that spirit of wisdom to become prophets, and they're going to be clothed in sackcloth. You see, and we know sackcloth is a, a cloth that you will wear when you fast. You see, it's a it's it's it represents a mourning estate. So yeah, man, Yahweh Shem Yashah's men are gonna be, you know, going through this uh, mourning estate, you know. So truly, you know, Yahweh Shem Yashah's men are being perfected. They're becoming ancients in the spirit. You see. I appreciate uh, wisdom of Solomon seven and thirty. It says, "For after this cometh night, but vice shall not prevail against wisdom." All right, and vice is in corruption all right we know in corruption is is equivalent to the flesh all right so wisdom all right well vice or in corruption is not going to prevail against wisdom all right which wisdom is the spirit of truth all right wisdom is a light wisdom is that spirit that gives you life all right that gives you that understanding which we do have now so it's the light and it's all according to prophecy we know that corruption will come to an end all right when that new covenant is is bestowed 
we know that wisdom will, you know, prevail, which it says here. Mm -hmm. So, you know, yeah, that, that was about it right there. But you know, that, that was, you know, that was really the point of the video, you know? We were just trying to make a video talking about how this truth is making us perfect in a very short amount of time. Yaba Shmi Asha, he's, he's making his man perfect in a very short amount of period of time, you see? So your spirit is what's gonna be saved, all right? Uh, so this, I'm going to get this last precept here in the book of Hebrews. Okay, because like we said, man, it's all about the spirit right now. It's all about the soul being perfected, all right? Um, this is going to be the book of Hebrews. I can get it. This is uh, Hebrews chapter 10, verses 39. It says, all right, it says, but we are not of them which draw back into perdition, but unto them that believe to the saving of the soul, right? And uh, I bring that out just to say, you know, we're, we're here, to, we're trying to save the soul, you know? We're trying to save the spirit, you know? Because your flesh, like we say, is not, your spirit and your flesh are gonna continually uh, combat one another, you know? So, you know, don't worry about the flesh, man. All right? The flesh ain't gonna be able to keep up with the spirit and its growth. You know, right? But it's a fight, you know, at the end of the day. So, um, so yeah, man. Yeah, by Shemesh, I'm sure willing. We hit all the points that we want to hit through the spirit. A uh, little bit willing this video. Uh, it was edifying and it made sense. But until the next time, we want to say Shalom. Shalom.